How am I supposed to tell her that Darren and Nancy won't let her see Charlie? You just need to explain that you all think time apart would do him some good. I don't think that. She's just been released. She needs her friends. I'm going to go out and see Charlie today. As soon as he answers his phone. I'm sure he's just busy with his family. Yeah, but he'd rather be with me. I tell you what, why don't you um, join in that Assassin's game that Tom and Yaz organised? It's just a bit of fun. Uh, I don't think Yaz will let anyone join now. Yes, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind Ella joining in, would she? Be good for her to start mixing again. No, I'm not going to play some game with everybody looking at me. They all hate me. No, they don't. Look, Ella, no one blames you for what happened. They'll all be really pleased to see you again. Come on. Hey, you'll text Yaz for us, won't you? I know it's a bit late in the day, but do you think you can make an exception? It's just that it's already started, and it'd be a bit awkward for me to add her now. The game doesn't work like that, and I haven't got my Polaroid with me to take a photo. Please, yes. Man, did you really think this is the right thing for her now? I'm really sorry. Poor Ella. Go and persuade Jazz to let her play. Go on. You've got that Oliver Twist vibe going on. No, I can't be bothered. Don't be so lazy. I told you we shouldn't have come. Can we just go? You can play. Here's your victim. Thanks, Lucas. See? Here you go. Open it up. Let's see who you got. <laughs> Bang, bang, guess he's already dead. Jordan Price. Lucas. That is horrible. Why would you do that? I thought it was funny. What, it wasn't, so you need to apologise. It was just for a dare. I thought she'd laugh. Have you any idea how difficult it was for her to come here today? Oh, look, can you really please with yourself? You have managed to bring up a pretty nasty, vindictive boy there. Don't make a show of yourself, Mandy. You've managed to bring up a convicted killer. Lucas, come on. I told you everyone hates me. <clears throat> Charlie! Hey! Ella really needs to see you. Yeah, but Darren and Nancy have said that. They don't need to know, do they? She's at home now. A quick visit won't hurt. Okay, I'll go around. Thanks. Don't start. I'm not sure you should be asking him to lie to his parents. We need to learn from what's happened, and we're not going to do that by creating even more lies. And you also might have to accept. She killed someone. I know it was self defense, but at the end of the day, she stabbed the man. Can't keep running away from that. Running away? Wish I could. Mandy, you cannot go behind Darren and Nancy's back. Oh, I am tired of hearing about what Darren and Nancy want. But why did they get to call all the shots? Charlie is their priority, but Ella is mine. Hey, are you going for a walk? Maybe I can tag along. What? Why? What's going on? Uh, um, Tom, what's happened? Charlie's with Ella. What? How do you know that? Before you start... Right. I'm calling Nancy. Can you not? Look, Darren, she's had a shocking morning. Lucas did something really horrible, and I just wanted her to have some sort of normality with her best friend. Charlie's with Ella. Look, we can't stop them being friends. They need each other. Yeah, listen, listen, I'll, I'll deal with it, and I'll call you back, all right? All right, bye. Look, Nancy's been quite clear about this. It's not Charlie that needs Ella. Nancy thinks it's not his job to support her, it's yours. What are you, a mouthpiece now? You've not got your own mind anymore. Yes, I have, actually. And I agree with what she's saying. Shock. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Charlie, go home now, please. I'll talk about this later. Listen, you can play me and Nancy off against each other if it makes you happy. But the truth is, you need to grow up and concentrate on parenting Ella. You promised me you'd keep Ella away from Charlie. Why didn't you tell me I was banned from seeing Charlie? 
You lied again. You lie about everything. That's why everyone hates me. It's you. Ella, we need to talk. Look, I have a mum, OK? I know what she needs. I want a mum that doesn't make me tell lies. If I told the truth about John like I wanted, I'd still have my best friend and Dan wouldn't have left you. And now you're on your own again. What are you going to do? Will I end up in care again because you can't cope? You want a mum that doesn't lie, do you? OK, well, I want a daughter who's in a killer. <laughs> Ella, Ella, I'm sorry. <sighs> We're closed. I'm not eating, but I am sorry. I don't need an apology. Is Ella OK? <sighs> yeah, apart from the fact that she hates me. I had to tell Nancy and Darren they're like my parents. I am sure they're better role models than me. I was trying to get things out in the open so you could all talk properly. I wasn't just telling tales. I shouldn't have put you in that position in the first place. Thank you for coming to find me. Well, actually, it wasn't just that. Tony owes me some charity money for assassins. No problem. Let's get out of the till. I just hope she's had the chance to calm down by now. What? What is it? Dear Mum, I don't want to have to lie anymore. It's my fault Jordan's dead, and you shouldn't have to keep lying for me and to me. Please don't bother trying to look for me. I'm better alone. Let's run away. Or I can't hurt anyone. I am a killer after all, aren't I, Mum?